Good morning once again from Topsail Island. Uh, down here near Serenity Point on the inland side, hence the nice calm water. Uh, I was hoping for a decent sunrise, although I was pretty sure I was not going to get one this morning. Uh, cloud forecast was, was fair. I actually got a little bit more clouds than I was looking at. But I think they're positioned wrong and probably going to snuff out the color. Uh, what I'm going for this morning is going to be kind of a more minimalist approach, kind of like I did uh, a couple of days ago. And for this, I've chosen this little group right here. Now, a couple things I want to talk about with this. One is composition. Right here, you've got six of the pilings, which is not bad, but it's a little complicated. So what I've done, I've actually positioned the camera. You see where those two are starting to overlap they become one. Now we're looking at just five vertical elements, which is a rule of odds. As long as you have an odd number, it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And you can see the difference there. Um, now going with that rule of odds, looking at the um, horizontal lines, we've got the one plank that is, if I can find my finger, there it is. One plank right there, we've got the little island of sand right there, and then the distant shore of Surf City up there. So that's another odds. As far as equipment, I've got 70 to 200 um, put on the camera. I've got the leaf filter holder just in case I need to do any filters. Right now I'm not shooting with any. The sky is not doing me a whole lot of favors. However, I do have the tool of white balance and I'll show you my composition and what I've done. I've actually set this up with the incandescent white balance, which gives it a nice blue feel to it. And there you can kind of see what the composition's looking like, um, where I've got those overlapped pilings. The histogram is looking really good at this point. Um, nice spread of tones where I need them. I'm shooting f11, 30 seconds of course is the most important thing because I really want to make sure that I minimize the motion in the water, I want to smooth all that out. So I've already taken one shot, but we're getting ready to do another one. Um, and again, just showing you how those pilings line up, and I've got that one real prominent front one. That's my key point to the composition, that brings you in, and it actually comes all the way down to the bottom of the frame gives you a little bit of mystery about what's beyond that. I will probably crop out this top part of the sky, go with a 5x7 or 8x10 crop, uh, just to simplify things even more since color is not really working with me. Uh, I'm going to take another exposure. I'm going to stop the lens down to f13, bring the colors in a little bit more, and we're going to go ahead and take this exposure. Two second delay so we don't have any camera shake. And while that's doing it, I'm going to let you guys know one of the uh, problems I've been having for this entire week. When I come out in the morning, I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and sand flies. And I tell you, my legs look like I have walked through a forest of poison ivy and poison oak. I'm not allergic to those, but these flies are killing me. My legs wake up and it's just they are itching from morning to night. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually getting eaten alive right now shooting this video. But that's what we do when we're photographers. We come out in the morning, we deal with the conditions. Now the sky's getting a little bit more animated, so we're probably gonna try some different things. But let's go ahead, take a look at what this last exposure was. There we go, check out the histogram. I've got nothing blown out, everything is where I want it. Up here, the blues are the brightest, which makes sense because with that white balance, all of that is actually registering as blue, and the red and the green just kind of blend in. So I, I think that's a really good histogram for what I'm trying to achieve. We're going to see how it works out when I get home. So let's get back to shooting. Hope the sun comes up and gives me a little something. Right now it's about eh, 15 minutes before sunrise. So everybody have a wonderful day.